All right, hello and welcome to Election Tycoon Trump versus Harris. Uh, I'd like to thank the developers who gave me a free key for the game. And uh, I'm going to run through and see if we can't make Kamala Harris president of the United States of America. Um, it's probably a good point to point out that, uh, you know, any... Anything that you, um, anything that they say on here from a political aspect has nothing to do with, um, the developers themselves since all my ideas. Uh, yeah, so, but I'll try to keep it, like, away from, you know, I guess the politics of things and focus more on just the gameplay. So, I, I have played this a few times, uh, to try to figure out, like, I guess, like, a good strategy. And I haven't found a good strategy that guarantees a win. I know that uh, placing the funding in locations where you have, you know, the most amount of money is a very good idea. But it is difficult to, like, figure out, like, what, you know, what actually works best as far as, like, you know, trying to you know, make an alignment in areas that will, will actually, like, potentially give me, you know, that state. Uh, and then trying to, like, do everything funding-wise. Anyway, my, my point is, like, it, there is a very big focus, I would say, on you should be focused probably initially very much so on funding of your buildings because that feels like kind of the most important thing to do. Um, because then we can start making increases of our money and, and everything else. And the faster we do that, the uh, more money we have. Uh, it just feels like things are going to get in, I guess, go a little bit better. Um, but at the same time, like, I just, I don't make enough uh, money to, to do this in a way that I feel pretty positive of. And everything's so dang expensive. It's super important to start building this propaganda, like, in different places. Uh, I find that the propaganda buildings, I think it's an odd name. I personally wouldn't have gone with it. I would have gone with, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would have gone with, but I feel like a different word might have worked a little bit better. Um... I also wish there was like a little bit of kind of like overflow. I wish uh, this kind of carried over into additional states, but it doesn't seem to really do that. All, right. All possible buildings in West Virginia. Still don't earn jack squat. I don't even know if it's like going to be valuable enough to like try to put it in other states. I'm putting a lot in, you know, He's, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, what it is that the Trump campaign does that seems to kind of, like, pull things off in their, uh, and their, 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 I don't know, for their benefit. Uh, that's Virginia. I would also say that it, the, the game makes some really weird decisions. Like, it's... I am running as Kamala Harris, and it's telling me to do things in places that Democrats have historically not, you know, done too well in. Like, Democrats don't typically do well in West Virginia. Virginia, not so bad. But it's just kind of an odd choice to say, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah work on West Virginia. Um, like, I know the missions are valuable. They do have a benefit because uh, after doing that, I get to make an upgrade uh, for one of my things. Like, and I, I, I feel like, you know, some of that works, you know, a little bit better than, than others, but I'm still struggling to try to kind of figure out how this really works. Um, to try to, like adjust the, you know, the political alignment. I've, 
I, I, I'm, I'm still super confused as of like why I seem to be struggling so much with, you know, any actual cash. Uh, like it's definitely making it very difficult to actually try to pull off any of the stuff they are telling me uh, to pull off. And, um... And it looks like it's going to take forever for me to actually pull off, you know, Arizona. Uh... Uh, you know, I might, we might actually build a pool. I'm not actually, I'm not going to put a lot of time into Florida and stuff. Pennsylvania is super important. As far as like Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, these all three states are important as well. Uh, I have one vote building in 19 states. All right. We're just gonna, just gonna do this number. The sooner we get that, the sooner I can increase how much money we get again, which I don't think is um, what I need to do. I still feel like it's money. Like, we need to have more cash flow in order to actually, you know, make a difference. Uh, and that's kind of driving me a little bit crazy because it just doesn't make that much sense that, um, I don't know, that I'm just like struggling so much uh, from a financial standpoint. Like, I only, you know, make enough to bring up, like, I don't know, it's just, there, there's got to be some kind of, there's got to be something different uh, when it comes to this, the way this is supposed to work. Because it's just, it feels almost impossible to really kind of achieve some of these goals that they've kind of set in place uh, for me, because, you know, it just doesn't quite make sense to me in trying to kind of pull this off. Um, and I'm jumping around trying to, like, make sure I, you know, invest properly in all the states. Uh, but I do, it's just really difficult to figure out. Uh, all right, the sound came back once. Cool, unexpected, but... I'm not even gonna try for for those guys. All right, that's that's as good as we're gonna get for Montana. It does look like we will, we kind of slowly lose how much money we might be able to get from uh, certain states. But I'm, I mean, like, it's just, this, this is just ridiculous. I, I'm only making like 50, 50 dollars every time. And it's, Build 60 fun buildings. All right. We can do this. Oh, we're almost there already, which is great.
Alright, that's uh that's the maximum level of that, so we can't make that any better. But I think that actually is going to be like I think I actually now make enough money to where um some of these states where I was you know potentially in danger of losing I might actually be able to kind of maintain uh, which is which is great news for the people of America you know Eliminate a point four five in Michigan. That is not going to be easy at all. All right, it'll take a little bit of time, but it'll. Uh, I think it'll work. Oh, dang! All right, screwed up there. If I can make him spend a lot of money in Texas and Florida, like, even if I lose these places... It won't be that big of a deal. Like, I will be okay with that. Uh, because I have made them invest a lot into it. Things are actually going much better than the last time I played this. Uh, the last time I played, I basically ruined America. Uh, so... I'm happy to say that it looks like I might actually save America this time, uh, and uh, it won't be so bad. Uh, all right. I still feel like it's good to like make more cash. I personally feel like. We should be, you know, as any any candidate, what they should do is try to spend more time, like, appealing to everyone. Because, like, they represent all of America, you know, you know not just specific places. I, I just, I feel like that would make kind of a huge difference. Uh, one fun building in 38 states. We're almost there. In our propaganda going again a little bit more. 0.45 in Alabama? Like, what are they smoking? Like, how do they even look at that and say with a straight face that that's something that's even remotely possible? Oh, they're going to try to take Georgia away. I'm going to fix that. Florida somehow made it over to us. All right. Well, that'll get there. Uh, Pennsylvania, I feel like... Um, it's doing okay, but... Pennsylvania is like one of those, you can't lose Pennsylvania. Like Wisconsin and Michigan and Minnesota are ones that are like, these are nice to have, but if you don't win them, it's not the end of the world. But the more states you can kind of like feel pretty confident about just the um, the better your chances are I would say and I think we might actually be able to maintain Florida I don't know I this is where I usually screw up I start looking at that and say Oh, you know what? I might be able to get Florida. And then I get, you know... It just kind of screws me up because uh, it typically ends up being, no, you can't have Florida. So... But I definitely feel like I actually... Uh, maybe figured things out this time like I mean I, I definitely feel like there's a good chance that 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this off. Uh, 0. 0.45 in Indiana. All right, do this. Things are going really well. 0.45 is a lot. That's going to be a ton of propaganda buildings. Uh, more than I want. Now we'll, we'll go ahead and put these uh, two voting points into it. I feel like I'm making enough cash now where I feel pretty positive about stuff. I believe we're going to lose New Jersey, and that's, that's like an odd one. Hey, it leads to New Jersey. It's whatever. Not for long, Mr. Dude. I mean, well, he's still, he's still leading, but you know what? It's okay. Like, I mean, I, I, I think it's going to be okay. Um, right, let's do this again. And 50% uh, in Oklahoma. That's kind of an odd choice again. I'm just really confused as to, like, the states they've decided that I should win. Um, dude, what? No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Go back to kind of taking that. That'll get where it's going. It's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, as soon as a propaganda thing to try to like take these places from me, but I feel like I can still stave off uh, some of this failure. Some of these, there's probably nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. about that. I'm not putting stuff into Arkansas. That just doesn't make any sense. Dude, what? Oh, it's going to be a close election. Uh... Some of the states that I thought they were kind of like in the bag, it looks like uh, I may have kind of underestimated things. It's a shame that I can't like adjust some of these uh, locations to try to like kind of add a bit more. Like I don't understand how I'm losing um, stuff there. Like it doesn't seem accurate. Okay, we lead in Georgia, and we're leading in Florida. Ooh, Kamala Harris has won the elections with 298 electoral votes. And that was a... Ooh, that was touch and go there at the end. All right, so I wonder, you know, whether or not, like, um... I wonder if this is, like, going to be how it goes. I mean, I feel like they'll do better. Like, I mean, Vermont, I would expect Kamala Harris to get Massachusetts, Maryland, California, Arizona, Maine. I actually feel like this is probably accurate. Like, the only ones that I would say are definitely decisive, though, would be Vermont, Maryland, California. Those are the ones I would say are absolutely decisive. Battleground states, I feel, is pretty accurate, too. Georgia is one. Washington, I don't imagine, will be. Montana, surprisingly enough, is sometimes one. Uh, New Jersey shouldn't be. Florida is a battleground, battleground state. Like, I, I don't imagine 
we'll, you know, they'll spend too much time there, but um, I would say this is like incredibly disappointing. Not, not like the score, but like the fact that this is probably how it's, you know, probably going to be somewhat similar to this. Um, all right, we can create a new candidate. Let's see how this goes. Name a Matt. And that's it. Uh, Matt, the awesome. Aww. We'll just do awesome. And awesome. We can upload a portrait of something. Let's do... Uh, let's see. There we go. Political alignment is uh, to the left. 100%. We have features. Base daily income is 40 instead of 20. Oh, yeah, I feel like that would make sense. Let's see. Vote buildings are 50% more effective. Uh, let's see. All buildings are 15% more effective. I do like this. I feel like this might be like a cheat to be able to do this kind of stuff. Ooh, two building upgrades upon completing a mission. I like that one. And... Propaganda building is 50% more effective. Sounds pretty good. Uh, state building capacity is full. This one, I just, I don't know, would be a great. It's really between these two uh, that I think might be a good choice. Uh, let's assume that I'm popular, right? Let's let's say I'm, nah, let's not say I'm popular. I'm not popular. Uh, I don't know. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. My cannon in. Oh, we got three of us going. All right. I do want to play as Matt's awesome. All right. Ten fun buildings. Let's go. I'm starting from straight up. Oh, my gosh. Like, this is impossible. Like, there's, there's no way, uh, that I'm I'm going to succeed here. Um, I mean, I I don't know. Um, may may maybe. Dear, my goodness, this is. I have no idea how I'm supposed to come from like being at such a low rate to anything. If I win a single state, that'll be a victory. But uh, playing as an independent, I would say, is definitely going to be something that I consider to be uh, a little bit on the difficult side. But you know, that's OK. That's, that's fine. I'm making uh, a little bit of cash, not much because like nobody Airs that I'm running for president. Where is Hawaii? Uh, so, like the the only thing that I when I'm looking at this, I do happen to notice that we seem to be missing the state of Hawaii. It could be somewhere that I'm missing, but I I don't see it. Um, I, I I feel like that's probably a bit of an oversight. Um, So we're at 4.12%. Uh, yeah, we're not really going up. I guess I need to put the voting systems in here in place. The best I can do is try to like make a little bit of more cash, I guess. Get one in each state. How much money would I have to have in order to actually try to pull this off? I mean, I I can't imagine. I don't know. I 
I don't see how you'd be able to do that. All right, so I got one in every state except for Kentucky. Uh, kind of messed up there. All right, what other state do I want to try to take? Because, like, I mean, I don't have a chance in any of these. Um, I don't know. But you know what? Let's let's toss some of the vote in Florida and Texas. I figure the least I can do is trying to, like... Um, you know, the least I can do is try my best to make it harder for Trump to win. And, you know, I think, like, if I had, like, a billion and a half dollars, you know, maybe I would run for president. Um, but I would run, you know, like, as a, I guess, uh, an independent. But I would try to sound kind of Republican, I guess, uh, to kind of shave away votes um, from Trump to see if maybe I could do that. But... Uh, I personally think it's absolutely ridiculous that Trump is even allowed to run for president. Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, the dude tried to overthrow the country, and uh, people are still allowing him to run for president. Not to mention all the other crimes uh, the dude has committed. Like, I mean, single-handedly, probably the worst president in all of time. Uh, and yet, a very large portion of America seems to love him, and I don't understand why. And I'm really disappointed in America as a whole. Well, not necessarily as a whole, but I'm really disappointed in Americans who, you know, support Donald Trump because why? Like, the guy is, you know, a convicted felon, uh, what, 34 felonies, a uh, convicted rapist, and... Uh, convicted uh, business fraud like what is it about him that people are like I want this guy to like you know be president I, and I and I think I know the answer like the people that want him to be president are well they're they're not necessarily amazing people they often might be you know they, they look at it as like Trump is saying all the things that gives them the permission to be the kind of person they want to be and um you look at the things that Trump supports, and then you look at the people who support Trump, and I guess there's some similarities there. You know, it's like, oh, no, uh, you know, it's just like, and it's just the amount of stupid lies, like uh, kids going to school and getting transgender operations. Uh, and yet the media doesn't say, like, well, what school? Like, what school is this happening where kids go to school and come home with a different uh, different gender? There are none. It doesn't happen. It's a lie. Uh, just like the latest lie about uh, immigrants eating pets. Like, really? I mean, I, I realize there's a lot of, like, older people, I guess, who are, like, boomers, who, uh, I guess, buy into this sort of thing. But you've got to be kidding me, man. Like, who sits there and thinks that that actually is happening? Uh, it's like watching that one movie with uh, Keanu Reeves where he is uh, he does something for like the devil or something um, and it's just kind of like I don't know it's it's a good movie I, I just it's got Dina Meyer in it uh, she was amazing in it uh, Al Pacino is in it. He is the devil, I believe. It's a good movie. I don't remember the name of it, like I said, but it's super cool. I, I definitely suggest it. But uh, the point is, like, Keanu Reeves does this whole thing where he's a lawyer and he has to, like, I don't know, um, do a thing. Uh, this guy is going to jail potentially for um, trying to, like, uh, uh, killing chickens in his basement or something. And it's like, eh, it's a religious ceremony, so it's perfectly okay. And I mean, that is one of those things where it's like, I think in America, uh, and just in general, people get like this really large kind of, I don't know, this influence of what they can do based on, um, having uh 
religious freedoms, I guess. Uh, liberties, I guess, maybe might be the right word. Increase your vote to 40% in Kentucky. Like, what? How? How do you even look at that and see it as an option? I mean, I, there's no way this that my character is going to win the election. Uh, but the only thing that I think I might be able to do is, you know, swing things um, potentially towards Kamala Harris. But even then, I'm not so sure. But considering my character has a very distinct left-leaning um, status, I would imagine that might actually um, kind of be what's going on. But it also looks like I might be potentially just kind of like, I don't know, messing things up for, or I don't know. Uh, I'm doing my best. Uh, North Carolina just kind of like, you know, Trying to, I don't want to say it's trying to screw over people, but that's exactly what happens. Uh, so in North Carolina, uh, RFK Jr. was trying to run for president, and, um, you know, obviously he dropped out. In some states, he's suing to stay on the ballot, and other states, he's suing to get off the ballot. So he wants to get off the ballot, and he wants to, um, you know, convince people that he's not running for president anymore, or, you know, that he's just part of uh, the Trump train. But the problem that there is, is, um, you know, he is, uh, you know, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to focus on California. I bet you, if, I bet you I can get this to the point that I actually can pull California. We'll get this, um, my, uh, propaganda up to like, I don't know, somewhere pretty high and then we'll start adding in. Uh, a bunch of stuff, my voting, and, and maybe I can pull it off. Like, we don't have enough time, and, like, it does seem like it's, like, a really, really slim chance. But, you know, there's a possibility that I might be able to do it. Uh, there's not really much I can do towards Kentucky. The whole plan of, like, trying to just kind of tip the scale in a way to um, help Kamala Harris doesn't seem like it's something that's actually doable. So an independent, I would imagine, uh, actually does more harm than good uh, towards actually helping any other candidate. I personally, you know, would prefer that the election system changed because it's essentially a two-party state. And it's dumb. Like, it just, it doesn't properly, I think, like, uh, it doesn't properly represent America. I think that's, like, a kind of a good way to, to, to list it. Um, or think about it. Yeah, we're going to get 10% of the votes in California. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Oh, and Kentucky's going up, too. I, I think that uh, there is a possibility that the propaganda um, in other states... Uh, does slightly influence some of these other ones. Like, now there's no way that we're going to pull California. Like, it's just, I don't think that it's possible. Uh, I don't think that I'm pulling enough from it. I mean, it would be really cool to, to win a single state. Uh, but, you know, it's it's okay. Like, I, I'm okay with losing all the states. As long as Kamal Harris wins, uh, then I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. So... All right, I think we're going to go straight back to voting. We don't have enough days. We got September, October, November. Um, like my percentage is going up pretty nicely in California, but it's not at a rate that's going to be good enough uh, to actually pull this off. So it was kind of like a waste. Um, like I just said, I guess like a silly thing that I did just for fun. Um, no way! I'm t like, oh no, I'm right. I, I got excited for a second because I thought I was leading in in Alaska. I was so excited. Ah, uh, what a disappointment! Like I, I, I definitely thought that was that was what was happening. Um, 
But the answer is no, that's not what's happening. Okay, so it's really weird. So when the music stops, I just kind of forgot about it because I was like super focused on as babbling on. Uh, but uh, if you have a two monitor setup, you can click over on your other monitor and back into the game and then the music starts again. It's kind of weird. I mean, I don't think the game really needs music, so it's not really like a big deal, but... I know everybody is, is going to be a little bit different uh -uh, with what they want. I will say that the amount that I'm... The, the, I, I'm really proud of like how things are going in uh, California. Like I, I'm not gonna win, it's fine. But uh, I'm actually really happy with kind of how this went as an independent candidate. I feel like it would have been really cool to have the option to kind of create um, several different candidates to run against, and I think that I actually could do that possibly. Um, it would have been cool if there was like a primary system in place to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, I guess start earning the, the, the possibility of, of votes and stuff, but, oh man, she, I, I feel like both of them have started trying to put some money towards California, but that would be a, like a crazy feeling like i mean as either the republican or democrat nominee uh to suddenly feel like you might potentially lose a state that is typically um you know completely in the bag that would just be like mind-blowing like i i mean like i'm obviously going to lose but i might actually i might actually pull off 10 percent of the popular vote in america which i think is honestly amazing um like i'm gaining popularity everywhere but i mean like i mean obviously without you know voting it's you know that's not gonna do me any good it doesn't do any good to have all of these voting buildings in different places uh, knowing that it's not going to kind of mean anything. But I think if we went to a purely popular vote, I, I feel like things would be much better. I know there'd be some people who would argue that, you know, well, that doesn't make sense. You know, we shouldn't have a popular... I don't want people... Uh, you know, like most of the population lives over in California or Texas or Florida or New York. I, you know, the city of New York has more people than like North Dakota or, or something, you know, very similar to that. And so those people in these smaller states like North Dakota or whatever, they may feel like they're they're kind of underrepresented because, you know, it's like, well, does it even matter who I vote for if, um, you know, a million people from this one city are voting for somebody? And I would say they're looking at it the, the wrong way. It absolutely would matter. It would work so much better if it was just a popular vote. Holy shnikes, I win in California. I'm going to win California. That is, that is hilarious and awesome. I, dude, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, America. Thank you, California. And Alaska. Oh, no, Alaska is not, not going to me. But why does it exist? in this version of America uh, which is nuts to me but um, dude I might take California and that is insane um, but that's really cool though I mean I'm, I'm I am beyond thrilled uh, at the possibility here and yeah, Kamala Harris isn't going for it Trump's not going for it they've given up they've accepted that I am the rightful ruler of California. I say ruler, but I mean, like, you know, leader, governor, uh, president. Uh, you know, that's that's essentially, you know, like, whatever. It, nothing else matters. The fact that I won California is insane, and it's whatever. Kamala Harris has won the elections with 270 electoral votes. Well, let's see what she got. Wait. Yeah. 
55. I don't like that this doesn't say what I want. Uh, it's a little bit of a disappointment here because I do want to know, like, like what, you know, okay, this, eh, come on, no, close. All right, so we, we got back over here. Uh, it's over, but yeah, so we, we got California. I would say that's just, just decisive. Anyway, well, that's 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 the general gist of it. Um, you know, we could make another candidate if we wanted to. I don't think that we would have. It looks like we can only do the three, which is fine. But I mean, that's it in a, in a nutshell. You know, uh, apparently, I'm I'm the only one uh, that's played this so far that has won as Kamala Harris and uh, got an independent score. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, it's a very cool experience. I mean, I, I, I would recommend it uh, just to kind of see where you could, uh, how you could do and whether or not you could actually predict the election. So uh, the link is in the description and I encourage you to take a look at it, play the demo if you want, wishlist it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and best of luck to all of us Americans out there. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully the election, uh, you know, doesn't, you know, ruin Americans. So, fingers crossed.